The new BMW M3 is a fabulous machine. But, how can we put this? It is a little bit big. And over £50,000, it's certainly rather expensive. What if you're on a more modest budget? Like your car's a little more svelte, but still want that Bavarian propeller? Then try this. It's BMW's new 135i Coupe, and it's brilliant. What's the big deal, you might be wondering? This is just a one series hatchback with a boot, right? And about as genuine M car as a stick on M badge from Halford. Well, that's sort of true. This isn't an all out M product, but BMW's motorsport division has put its name to the suspension settings. And it even has a couple of new tricks the M3 doesn't, which we'll get to in a moment. As for that boot business, whisper it, but there's actually more space in here than there is in the hatch. Like any modern BMW, the looks are divisive, but details like the black chrome exhaust finish are very cool. Compact, purposeful, there's something of a swagger to its design. And well, there might be, because when you put your foot down, this car leaves you in absolutely no doubt about its performance credentials. It is properly, properly fast. Fast as an M3? Not quite, but there's not that much in it, and the 135i starts at under £30,000. For the record, 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 5.3 seconds. The M3 makes it in 4.9, but stick to the 135i's actual rivals, and you'll find it's quicker off the line than everything, including Porsche's much pricier Cayman S. Top whack is 155, but it's the mid range muscle that's really spectacular. That's because the 3 litre straight 6 under the bonnet is packing a matched pair of turbochargers. 302 brake horsepower and 295 pound for the torque. The delivery is so linear. It's like it's not turbocharged at all. 2007 International Engine of the Year this. A good god, it is not hard to see why. The chassis is pretty special too. With a stiffer body shell than the hatch, the suspension works even more effectively. It doesn't just grip hard, turn in hungrily and give authentic feedback. It also rides with remarkable compliance, considering the arch filling 18 inch rims. In fact, at times it almost feels too soft. It's behind the front set of alloys that you'll find the 135i's first new trick, decent brakes. Bespoke six piston calipers finally see the end of BMW's single piston obsession offering far greater resistance to fade. Move to the rear, and in another first, the 135i has an electronic differential lock. Great fun if you've got a track to play with. Downsides? Well, you can forget about using the rear seats, and the six-speed gearbox can be notchy. A paddle shift auto is on the way, but we keep the cash and get used to it. Speaking of money, some might say a 30k1 series is taking the Michael, but we don't think so. In fact, the 135i is a revelation. Compact, lithe, and enormously satisfying to drive. Compared to the M3 and its own rivals, this car is an absolute bargain. So the good points. Fantastic twin turbocharged engine and the entertaining chassis add up to great value for money. Bad points? The gearbox could be friendlier. There really isn't any rear legroom, and it doesn't have genuine M-Car kudos. <laughs>